What are we talking about today? Yeah. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of the What Are We Talking About podcast inside of my car edition. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I, we are, again, I'm pretty busy lately, so been, that's why this video is late. You're gonna, there's going to be two this week, though, so uh, to make up for last week. Uh, but, yeah, we are going on our way to, I'm going to get a new skateboard, so nice. Yeah, I've been meaning to do this for a while. My old one is getting pretty raggedy. I don't need a, I don't think I need a whole new setup. I probably only need like, I don't know, I don't need trucks. I know I don't need trucks. My trucks are still real good. Uh, I definitely need bearings and I can, I don't know, I just don't like my, the board that I have and it's getting kind of ragged. So I think I'm kind of want to get a new deck. And I don't know, I kind of want to get some good, if they have them, a little bit bigger wheels. Yeah. Like not longboard wheels because I no. have one skateboard that has longboard wheels. I think wheels. I've seen that. Yeah, <laughs> and it's fine, but <laughs> it's like it's skin. way heavier. It's yeah. almost like twice as heavy as the other board. But also, I have super light trucks on the other board. I think. Oh, yeah. nice. uh, magnesium trucks. Nice. Uh, and they're like, yeah, way lighter. Mm -hmm. uh, but I need to definitely, like, I, 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 I want to get, because I don't like how small normal skateboard wheels are. They seem to always be way too small for, mm -hmm. like, my liking. I want to get just a little bit bigger where it's, like, <clears throat> big enough that I don't feel like they're too small yeah. for my liking anymore, but not so big that it's, like, cumbersome. Yeah, right? hey, yeah. But, yeah, man, that's something that I definitely want to do is, uh, I mean, I guess I should have looked at my old setup here before we left because I haven't looked at it in the past little bit mm -hmm. from what I remember. The, like, I know the trucks are good. There's no doubt about that, but yeah. I'll just probably get, yeah, wheels, bearings, deck. And I need new skate shoes. Because yeah, the shoes yeah. that I have, I really, like, thought maybe they would work, but there's no way this material would fucking just, these shoes would not last more than, like, fucking no. 10 minutes. Yeah, I've got a pair of bands that I got not too long ago, and, uh, yeah, I'm sure you've seen them, but, yeah, they would not, well, I can tell. <laughs> yeah, I've had a couple pairs of bands. Like, I've, I've had a couple pairs of bands yeah. in my time, and they've just... Yeah, they're not. They're not equipped for. I used to always wear circa, but it seems more, more, yeah, more circa. rare to find circa anymore. Circa is. But now I mostly use Etnies because Etnies makes some shoes that are similar to how the circas that I used to like. Mm -hmm. Where I like the ones that have shorter laces at the end, like it's not laces the whole way down yeah, the shoe. Yeah. Because it makes it. Uh, if you have laces all the way down the shoe, you have to replace your laces all the time. Yeah. Like, once right. a week. So oh, yeah. it makes it, it like yeah, it's, it's just wear and tear on the shoe instead they make, of having a, yeah. Rigorous, they make so. uh, wax laces now that are supposed to help with that. That probably would, but yeah. still, even if like, because I used to play hockey, mm -hmm. and I used to have wax laces in my skates, and it helps. They do last a bit longer, but it's like it's not a not, real big. Scene. Yeah, it's not a significant difference. Because I, I, it depends yeah. on if they're the same price, then yeah, might as well get them. But if they're more expensive, then it's probably not like the amount of money you would uh, that little bit extra that you would spend each consecutive time would mm -hmm. add up quicker than the the amount of time longer than wax laces last over yeah. non wax at least in my opinion for playing hawk yeah. which is different than skateboarding uh, but I mean yeah like the one thing about wax laces is like they're so gay to tie well like not gay that was a terrible fucking word to use, but uh, I mean, they're shitty to tie. Yeah, they are. Because they're just like so stiff. And stuff yeah, like they're right. You gotta really break them. Yeah. It's really, it's a lot harder to tie. Well, at least definitely with skates because like you have so much more. It's like a boot, right? Yeah. As compared to with at least the skateboarding shoes that I wear, it's only got like four, like little laces or whatever. Yeah. Right? Oh, six, okay. Yeah. Right? Six yeah. eyelets or whatever. 
So see, I like that thicker shoe on top. I, I found Fallen's really, really good. Too. Yeah, no, they're pretty good as well. They're, they're expensive. Well, yeah, that's the thing. thing. Uh, <clears throat> Etnies and Circus were always kind of a little bit not well, like a little less expensive, yeah. right? Uh, and I don't like the bigger, like you know, the big clunky style of skateboard yeah. shoe. I don't really. I used to wear them a lot, but once I found these ones, I just don't like those kind of anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just I just finally retired a pair of Fallen's. And they were they were mid top. Yeah, and they were great for winter. Yeah, I've seen a lot of action. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I got some. Uh, I don't even know what they are. Maybe they're. Uh, elements, the shoes oh, yeah. that my winter shoes. Oh, yeah. Are. They're like, yeah. Uh, I don't know, I got them for snow skating. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> they're pretty sweet. Yeah, they're a little heavier. Yeah. yeah. They're like, it's like a, it's like a sky top kind of, but it's more like a boot. Yeah. It's like a winter okay, boot. Okay, yeah. That's Almost. Cool. Yeah. But yeah, dude, I like them. They're real good. They're not good for mountain climbing or anything like that. I, yeah. uh, we went mountain climbing the one, or not mountain climbing, but uh, like hiking out yeah. at Coliseum Mountain. Yeah. And um, they, it was not very much, not very good of grip for that type of shit. Yeah. Because like the grip is more meant for going like, uh, like it's grip forward mm -hmm. and backwards because it's like horizontal slits. Yeah. Whereas it's not as good of grip mm -hmm. this way, which when you're driving, or not driving, sorry, when you're hiking, mm -hmm. there's a lot of that. You have your yeah. foot sideways on the hill, yeah, right? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so that's what we're doing. We're on our way to go get, I'm getting a ski deck, well, or whatever I said, uh, bearings, wheels, and a deck. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. What's the first thing we got? Uh, we, I guess, said Prince's death was going to come sooner. It was, yeah, yeah, like, so Prince died, how long ago was it now? A week and a half or just a week? I think so, so, yeah. Which, it sucks. Like, he was actually pretty young. I think he was only, like, in his he, late 50, 60s. 57. Something oh, he's only like 57. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, he was really young. Where yeah. It sucks. Like, he was an incredible musician, and he actually like transformed music in a lot of ways. Yeah, he did, yeah. Where he had such a more large influence than you think of because not only did was he a huge star with his own music, but he, at one point in history, was writing so many songs that he was basically just giving them away. Yeah, because, absolutely. Yeah, like he's just so incredible and had so much like creative talent. Yeah. And he's a very unique person. And yeah, like, absolutely. How many people do you know that changed their name to a symbol for a period of time? <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Yeah. But yeah, like, so it's a tragic loss. But you, there was some, some you heard today, or rumor? Uh, or yeah, or apparently, um, Sinead O'Connor, like the chick who shaved her head in the 90s. She had, <laughs> She's a yeah, singer from the 90s. I guess she was released some stuff in the early 2000s as well. I think Prince might have actually, like, uh, he wrote a few of her songs. Oh, really? I'm sure, yeah. Probably Any, all of her good songs. Yeah, I, mean, I bet you it was. I, I bet you it was. I don't know. I don't. I, I, I don't know the list of Sinead O'Connor songs. I don't know if no, I didn't no. recognize any of them. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think uh, he wrote. I don't know. I'm not actually not sure if he wrote uh, nothing compares to you. I don't anyway, hear it probably. Yeah. Um, but anyway, she uh, like pointed a finger at Arsenio Hall because apparently they all hung out back in the day. And he's been saying that uh, he's pretty much been, or she's, or she has said that he's pretty much been supplying Prince. Uh, like his, like the, they said he, he uh, might, they might have found Percocet on his body, I guess. Oh, like on, eaten, uh, on like non taken Percocet yeah, on non, Prince's yeah, body when yeah, he was dead? Yeah, yeah. That sucks. Yeah. And so she's saying that as far as she knows, that's where he got his Percocet. Yeah, she's pretty, she pretty much uh, point the finger. Point the finger, yeah. What, did she like what like she tweet on, about it or something? Well, or not only it? that, yeah, or she, was like an interview. She like I, I don't know. She might have tweeted at him or said it in an interview. I can't remember. But uh, she like said she was she had 
form the Carver County Police. Police Department. Yeah, and said that she had reported him and shit. Oh wait. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, it's, uh, it's some crazy stuff. Yeah, but like, don't know. Yeah. it sucks. I mean, cause was it confirmed that that's why Prince was dead was because of overdose? No, I, no, I don't think it was an overdose. I thought that's, it was the flu. Yeah, it was. They're like it was like flu-like symptoms, and uh, they said that it looked, like it. They first called to an ambulance. They just first called it, they, that it was initially thought they had just called to an ambulance. And then, uh, uh, like some, like a word, like something got out about like uh, his uh, bodyguard or something like that had to, or like uh, one of the plane, atta- like flight attendants might have had to carry him off the plane. Oh yeah, one of his personal. They had to make an emergency stop. Or yeah, something. yeah, yeah. I heard about that, but that was before. Yeah, and sure. then he was back playing shows and stuff after that. Oh yeah, okay, that's what, that's what it was. But then, yeah, and then they, uh, as far as I know, basically, I guess he just got worse again, and that's what happened. That's yeah. how he ended up dying was from the flu or whatever, yeah. flu-like symptoms, whatever that was. Yeah, there's been, and there's already been, like, two, uh, like, a, a nat- I don't know, so like, one, like, fucking, one of them celebrity gossip magazines or whatever. Like, yeah. One said he was murdered, and the other said he had AIDS, and it's just like, like wow, so- yeah. Yeah, pretty hard to see something. Pretty hard to see something like that. Though. I already drove by this guy. <laughs> well, I'll go in the other direction. Yeah. But uh, yeah, man, that's crazy. That is crazy. I don't like. I would as I, as far as I can tell from all the things I've heard, I don't suspect that he was murdered or from, no. like OD'd or anything no. like that. I don't think Prince, in his old age, was still doing like a bunch of drugs, or if he ever was on that much. Did he? Oh, look at bike rally. Oh wow, yeah. Uh, did Prince yeah. ever? Was he ever like cool. famously doing a bunch of drugs? I don't remember. Uh, him probably having in that. The 80s. Yeah, like in, the 80s. in the times when everyone was doing drugs, exactly. <laughs> he was doing an amount, but I don't remember him ever being famous for being like, oh, he used to, used to do all kinds of drugs for See, a long time. And the rumor where he, uh, the rumor where like he's get like been the rumor why he's taking Percocet is because like he uh, was always like jumping off of the risers and shit like the stage risers where you'd have like yeah. chicks dancing on it yeah but uh, yeah and he's just getting old and it's hurting him yeah from his back and, or uh, no it's just, it was his hip and his ankle or something like that yeah it's crazy crazy stuff yeah, yeah man it sucks yeah it really sucks all right he prints yeah RIP man but uh so, what's that? The wrestler China. Oh yeah, also that's right. Died, like, yeah, the same day. The same day, yeah. Which I, uh, she was. But when I used to watch wrestling, which was I don't know when I was like, probably, like probably six, grade seven to ten, kind of a oh, thing, and maybe even yeah. a little longer, younger, like grade six and stuff. But yeah. uh, I. Yeah, I Fight, like, she, but yeah, fight. China was no longer fighting at the time when I watched it. Like no. she was already done yeah. being a wrestler. Yeah. But I, uh, oh, like I got Her. when I was that age, I got some like DVD sets of like uh, uh, all the wrestle. Me and my little brother collectively yeah, had like yeah. all the WrestleManias for like ten years or something like that, nice. or twenty years, and. Uh, we, I also had a thing called e, a DVD box set called ECW Bloodsport, oh, wow, yeah. and it was like two or three discs yeah. of just like the craziest ECW matches. So like, there was lots of old classic matches that we used to watch as well. Nice. So I knew of her, and I'd seen her in some stuff, and I knew who she yeah, was, like, right? Yeah. And also, she used to be on some of the classic wrestling games. Yeah, yeah, she was. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was a long time ago. Yeah, man, because... I can remember... I was, like, when the original SmackDown vs. Raw came out, I think it was PS2, We, me and my brother used to play the hell out of that game. Yeah, I can remember playing... Yeah, I was like... I was like 10 or something when that game came out, and I can remember playing the shit out of that. Yeah. Game. And you 
can like create your own wrestlers title. Yeah, and, shit. and your own title. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I remember that shit. Like, yeah, man. I used to. We used to be so into wrestling. We would like. I still have that game. I still take have, our like, mattresses out and fucking <laughs> actually do re- wrestling yeah. shit. And, like we would fucking. I mean, just looking back on it, we probably could have hurt each other. Really. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And then also when we. Oh yeah, we would. Me and my little brother would uh, try and we would. It was like a, we had a guessing game where it was like I basically had a downloaded list of every single wrestler, current and some like classic and stuff like that wrestlers' mm-hmm. intro music. Oh, really nice. Yeah, and so we would. The person whose turn it was to guess would just wait, and the other person would play whichever person they want to do and then they would just do what as close as they could to their version of the intro right yeah and then uh the other person had to try and guess like we would always know uh, yeah. pretty quick even by just the music lots of times right but still yeah that's what it was I, pretty lemmy cool. was lemmy was famous Triple H, man. Yeah, yeah. He wrote tri- every single one of Triple H's themes. Yeah. It's all about the game, and now you're playing. <laughs> all about yeah. control and when you can't take it. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, that is the shit. Oh, yeah. What's next? Uh, we got Space Jam 2 with LeBron James, director Justin Lin. So, Justin had Fast and the Furious. Yeah, yeah Furious 7. Furious 7. Okay, yeah. And everyone knows who LeBron James is if yeah. you know about basketball pretty much, right? Yeah. I mean, I was asking my little brother about it because he is really into basketball. Yeah. And I had heard some stuff, seen some stuff on the comment boards and stuff like that online where it's like people are, had been saying maybe LeBron James isn't the person that they want as... Uh, yeah. In the, like, the like maybe they should get uh, Kobe Bryant or uh, Steph Curry or yeah. you know somebody else because LeBron James. I don't know if he's really current right now or not. Like I, you know, you don't hear that much about him anymore. Like he was no. even in. I don't know if he's even still playing basketball because he he was in train wreck. Like he's been acting and stuff like that too. And I don't know. Maybe uh, athletes act on can. I thought that I don't know like I'm not a professional athlete and I have never been really into basketball much yeah, so yeah. I don't know whether or not like because I know hockey players basically train almost year round right yeah. like, when they're not playing hockey they train the only time they golf is if they don't make the playoffs yeah right because mm-hmm. uh, that's the trope is like hockey players golfing yeah or whatever yeah. right uh, but yeah, pretty much. At least that's my understanding of it. Again, I'm no professional hockey player. No. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so maybe basketball. I don't know if basketball players are the same where they're training year-round. I would assume so. Like, you think a professional of any sport would be. Yeah, no doubt. To stay on yeah. the top of your game, right? You don't want to be lagging when it comes to next season. You no. always would want to stay on the... Because even if... Like, you could bla- relax a little bit and get be a little bit like because you don't you're not playing you're not being competitive at the moment but you still want to stay in at least pretty good shape because the farther out of shape you get the harder it'll be to get back into shape at the start of the next season right for sure so i don't know like i would assume they would at least keep up certain physical regimens yeah uh so like I guess you can I mean it, look at the Rock he works out fucking like twenty three hours a day and he still is in every movie yeah, no <laughs> doubt. yeah. so like it, it can be done I just oh yeah sure. I don't know I just don't know how I mean because what I when I was talking to my brother I asked him about it and he said LeBron James is basically the best or one of the best basketball players of all time. Like, he's broken so many records and will have broken so many records by the time his career is done mm-hmm. that he will basically have the records for the most amount of records, wow. right? Yeah. Like, that's what at least he said. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I could have looked it up, but I believe him. Riley knows a lot about basketball and stuff. He's even going to school for, like, kinesiology. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, so, he knows. He, like, that's his thing right now. He used to be all about hockey when he was younger. Yeah. But when he started playing basketball, like, at near the end of high school, now that's, 
like his he like as passionate as I am about movies, he's at least that passionate about yeah, basketball, yeah. right? Yeah, he is. Uh, sure. But yeah, what do you think about the idea of a Space Jam two with LeBron James? I just love the shit out of anything to do with Looney Tunes. So. Did you see Looney Tunes back in action? The one with uh, Oh no, I haven't. Brendan Fraser. Or, uh, I might. Is have. that his name? A uh, guy that was in the Mummy. Oh yeah, that's Brendan Fraser. Yeah, yeah. so he, it's him. I heard that movie was real. It's sure not about. great. It's not horrible, but it's definitely not anywhere near as good as the original Space Jam or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, but like, there is some good jokes in it. There's actually a joke where, because Brendan Fraser just he plays some character of like he's just a dude who's like trying to make it as a stuntman in Hollywood kind of a thing. Yeah. Uh, and at one point, he talks about how he was Brendan Fraser's stuntman. In <laughs> he's, like, he's like, that guy's a hack. I did all the stunts in that movie. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, but uh, I'm excited to see. He was good. Space right? Jam too. Me too. I didn't I mean, see Trainwreck. Uh, that's the only thing that I think LeBron James is acting in. But I didn't, I didn't actually see it. Did you see that movie? No, I haven't. Yeah. I, I do want to. I've heard really good things. Yeah? I heard she's, like, ripped off a lot of her acts. Like, Who's that? Like, Amy Schumer. Oh, Amy Schumer. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I uh, don't watch her very much. But, I mean... Yeah. And, like, I pretty much only ever watch her when she pops up on, like, Jim, uh, Jimmy yeah. Fallon or, like, uh, what's his name? Colbert. Oh, yeah. Conan. But, uh... I don't know. I... I, I've heard that Trainwreck was, like, basically if The Martian wasn't unfairly chosen to be in the comedy category because it's not actually a comedy, yeah. Trainwreck should have been Comedy of the Year in the Golden oh, wow. Globes, even though Golden Globes isn't as yeah. that super legitimate of an award anyways, so. because lots of times they just nominate who, uh, probably as you've seen with The Martian, like, the probably reason why they nominated that as a comedy slash musical is because they just wanted Matt Damon and Ridley Scott to come to the Golden Globes. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. That they've been known to do that, where it's like they'll nominate movies just so that, like, Angelina and Brad Pitt will come to the fucking Golden Globes or whatever. Because it's more, it's not like the Oscars where everyone is, like, super serious and everything like that. The yeah. Golden Globes, everyone gets drunk in the Golden Globes. <laughs> And, like, usually it'll be the host is, like, Ricky Gervais just, like, roasting yeah. the audience the whole time. Whereas at the Oscars, it's not like that. Like, Chris Rock hosting the Oscars was a huge shakeup compared to, like, what it's normally like. Yeah. And mostly because of all of the controversy that surrounded this past Oscars. Yeah, yeah. Because of the hashtag Oscars so white yeah. or whatever, that stuff. It basically made it so that the entire show was up revolving around that issue, which isn't necessarily a bad thing at all. Like, some people thought it was a little bit overkill, but in a way, good. Like, yeah. okay. how much more do we need before things change, right? No. Uh, but yeah, space, so did you, were you a big fan of the original Space Jam? Yes, very, very much so. <laughs> yeah, we, I used to watch that so much when I was a kid, like it was one of my favorite movies actually, uh, when I lived in Indonesia, and, like when I was young, I don't even know how old I was, like five or something, then six, we had a copy of, on VCD is what it's called. Yeah, it's video like, compactness. Yeah. I don't know if that was ever big in North America or not. I don't think so, but yeah, it was way before DVD. Also. Yeah, it was. And uh, I don't know, man. It's like there's no DVD menus or anything, and there's I think you you can skip to like the next scene to skip, but there's no scene selection. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. Because uh, it's basically just like a CD but with video. Okay. Right. Yeah. So it's like there's tracks. Oh, and you wow. can skip to the next track and shit like that kind of thing, but you yeah. can't you can't go and scene selection your tracks on your CD with fucking nineties technology, right? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, 
so I, we, I, that was one movie that we, I've just like always watched since it came out. And in fact, that was one of the movies when I was a really little, when I lived in Indonesia, I wanted to be a basketball player. Like I played basketball every single day. Nice. Literally one year for uh, either my birthday or Christmas or something, I got a Michael Jordan bat, like no, uh, jersey shorts. Nice. Like that's cool. And um, um, Chicago Bulls basketball because I was just like such a fan of Looney Tunes and basketball because yeah. of that movie, right? Yeah. yeah. But then once I came back to Canada and uh, started playing hockey again, it's yeah. like no, no contest. Because yeah. I could only play street hockey in Indonesia. There's no mm -hmm. fucking ice rinks in Indonesia. <laughs> yeah. No. Bad there is. But uh, yeah, yeah. So. Uh, overall, I mean, I'm, I don't know, like, I, I'm, in, pending the trailers, when the trailer comes out, if it's a shitty trailer, I will not watch the movie, but yeah. if the trailers are good, yeah, I don't see why not, like, I'm yeah. fine with the Space Jam too. it's not oh, like yeah. one of those franchises where it's like, don't touch it, but it yeah. is a franchise that I do love, and I'm fine to see with more of it, because like you said, I did, Looney Tunes are always good to see, like, yeah. I grew up watching Looney Tunes, too. Uh, the Bugs Bunny and Tweety show, yeah. Roadrunner. Yeah. Roadrunner. But yeah. Uh, Road uh, but yeah. What's next? Uh, there's like, I guess there's the huge ass fire burning in Fort McMurray right now. Oh yeah. So basically, I don't know how it's hit everywhere, but definitely here, it's insanely dry and hot and like. It's been so dry and so hot that the lake uh, had no ice on it by like the second week of April. Yeah, that's... golf courses were already open. Yeah, like we went golfing at the beginning of April, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. It's like that is unprecedented for the. I've, I've never seen this before. Yeah, and yeah. it's so dry and so hot. We've only had like one or two days of rain, and it barely rained at all. Yeah, it wasn't. It wasn't even an inch. Yeah, no, exactly. No. And, uh, yeah, man, so basically, here's one thing I gotta say, urging yeah. everyone, if you live in this area and you're watching this, do you, or if it's also hot and dry in a hot, dry, drought summer, anytime ever, but especially now, don't throw cigarette butts yeah, out the window. that's just the dumbest shit ever. Because not only is it, like, littering and whatever, but also, you could fucking start a giant grass fire that could engulf a city or yeah, we whatever, don't, right? Like, yeah. you don't know what can happen. Cigarette butts are, can burn hot enough to ignite grass. So, oh, yeah. or at least get into a chain reaction and continue to build heat, right? Yeah. So, yeah, everyone, please. And it's not just that. Whatever it is, anything, be super cautious. There's If there's a fire ban on, don't have a fire like yeah there the fire ban is on for a reason and i know i'm sounding like preachy and like you probably don't want to hear me say this but it's like just kind of be smart about it right yeah but yeah like this is crazy basically this fort mac is the basically biggest oil city in canada right yeah and they're evacuating basically the whole city oh yeah they've evacuated the entire city yeah where it's yeah. like yeah. It's unbelievably huge, this fire. Like, uh, I have this, my, I follow my one friend, Jeremy, on Instagram, and he posted pictures the other day of the fire, and he was in Ed at Edmonton. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you'd be, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, we get, we get the smoke from BC wildfires, so I can just imagine Edmonton's getting, like, there's probably, like, smoke advisories and yeah. shit out. Yeah, man, it's just crazy. Yeah. Like, I was looking at some pictures from, like, closer today at work, and, yeah, man, it, it's unbelievable. Like, and they're, I guess they're saying that it's even bigger than the Slave Lake, Lake yeah. fire that happens in the wall. And that burnt, that burnt, like, uh, a third of the whole town. Yeah. So. So, no, it's, the, it's like a city. Right? Slave Lake is a city, but it's yeah. about the it's size a small, of a home, right? Yeah. Whereas, yeah, it's like 10,000 people. Yeah, yeah, it's like the minimum size of city, whereas Medicine Hat but is like, a lot bigger. Amazing. But Medicine Hat has been hurting lately because Maybe. of the oil crisis, yeah. right? 
there's a so it's probably a little less population but still I'm sure there's a like there's probably people who have died in this fire yeah like uh yeah, I was like, when the Slave Lake fire happened, I was like uh, an hour and a half, like an hour and ten minutes north on Highway 2, which is like, it goes right up to High Prairie, and like, yeah, man, it, it was some, like, it was some crazy, crazy stuff, you could see it in the sky, yeah. from like 110 kilometers away. Yeah, man, that's crazy, 60 miles, which is crazy. So I guess uh, Saskatchewan's gonna be getting some crazy smoke. Yeah, absolutely. And they're saying it's like a southeast wind too, which is like not what they want. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. So I, think it's southeast. So I ha there's this guy. I don't remember where he lives. Yeah. But I'm, it's somewhere in Alberta, I think. Yeah, it's somewhere because. My boss was saying that he used to always drive by this trestle bridge. So there's this firefighter that has been lighting oh, yeah. fires so that he would have something to do. And one of the things he lit on fire was this more than 100 year old historical like train trestle bridge. That was less than a That was long. still being used. And it was a, it was less than a, lo a kilometer away from a fucking school too. Really? Yeah. Man, that's crazy. Like, yeah, why 18, would somebody do that? Yeah, 18 counts of arson. I mean, that's, that is some cocky motherfucker right yeah. there. He thinks that he's good enough that he can light a fire and then fight it? Yeah, no no. Don't fucking play with fire. You'd think if you were a firefighter, you'd know that. Yeah. Right? Like, that's unbelievable. It's just, yeah, I just can't, fucking, can't fucking believe that. Yeah, man. Uh... But, so, he's he's been, like, caught in charge now, I'm pretty sure, though. Yeah. With, like, I don't even know how many counts of arson. A lot. Yeah, man, that's some crazy-ass stuff to be doing. No doubt. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but, so, I don't know, there's not much else with that that I can think of. Other than, it's crazy, and don't be... Light fires, fires and don't be throwing out butts and whatever else. Be super cautious about it right now because it is really, really dry out. That it is. So, was there anything, any other topics at all that you could, that you wanted to uh, uh, talk about at all? You... The main one was the Sinead and Connor thing, just because I thought, like, well, that's just so like weird. That... Yeah, like it's strange that that like. In times she, like this, it's 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 like, do you think she's just doing this to be back in the limelight? Because we haven't heard anything about Sinead O'Connor for a long time. We have not. No. So she's having some, or uh, is she's it, having some problems? We'll just say that. Is it that, or is it actually? Do I turn left here? Or do I go straight? Um, where where Black Falls? Uh, I, I think I go. Left. Yeah, oh, you, do I go? I think you go straight. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, you're right. Uh, but yeah, man. So do you think that she's just doing it to try and get attention, or? Otherwise, I can't see any other motive. Me neither. Where it's like, when it's stuff like this and you don't know what's true, yeah, you gotta think like, uh, what motive would they have, mm -hmm. right? And if they don't have a motive, then it's like, maybe it is, it's more likely to be true if they have no, if they don't have anything to gain from coming out with this, making up this story. Yeah, like, why would she? Yeah, that's the only thing I could see her gaining from this, right? And that would be incredibly petty. Oh, fucking right, yeah. Yeah. But she's, like... The head shaving incident, for example. Well, I mean, there's nothing wrong with shaving your head. No, not at all. But, but uh, she, she went off the rails and That's the she thing, did it. When, she, when she did it, it was like, for, at a time where... It was more yeah. like people weren't as accepting of people as they are now, and that is seen as like she is a rebel and like going against the grain of society and all this stuff, right? Yeah. So, I mean, I don't really know the backstory as to what went on in her personal life, other than I know she just yeah, I don't has know. like it a could be real shitty. Now. It could be real shitty. Yeah, though. like I don't, I don't know. know what her reasoning is no. if she just all of a sudden was like, well, I'm gonna be a teen angsty like. I'm gonna shave my head and be a goth or whatever. Like I don't know. <laughs> God, do goths shave their head? I don't know. Yeah, I 
can see that. Black lipstick and shaved head. I only say that because I was just watching Deadpool and uh, <laughs> Negasonic Teenage Warhead. He wears like a black trench coat, black lipstick, and shaved head. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, is like, at one point, Deadpool calls her Sinead O'Connor. Yeah, I know, yeah. Uh, there's also a Sinead O'Connor reference in Ted 2. Yeah. When uh, Ted is like, hey, look at some people running. Ted yeah. is talking to. Uh, I don't remember having a track meet here. I don't know if I ever did. Uh, but, oh wow, look at that. Water slides. Yeah. Uh, so, so. I have totally no idea what we were talking about now. I don't know. But anyways, Isn't that, I don't uh, know if Sinead... Did we just pass it? Was that it? Yeah, yeah I think so. Well, we're pretty much there anyways, so we yeah. can wrap this up. Is there uh, anything you've been reading, watching, or playing? Or that you will be reading, watching, um, or playing? What have I been watching? Uh, I've just been listening to the Gunslinger again. That's a band? No, the the Dark Tower. Oh, first. oh it's a book. First, Audio book. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I didn't know what you meant at first. Yeah. Uh yeah. I like it's not it's not gonna the movie's not gonna be like it's gonna take place uh like sometime in the middle of the series and not like the first, like with the gunslinger. And like the man in black, like who like the gunslinger is gonna be even played by Idris Elba and Yeah. Matt and Matthew, 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 Matthew McConaughey. McConaughey, yeah. And it's a movie or is it a series? I don't know. Uh I think it's a movie. A movie? It might be even a mini series. Yeah, I don't know. But uh you really like that stuff? That uh because I haven't read much uh Stephen King. Yeah, I don't know. It's not I mean it's got a lot of Stephen King references in it. Like the characters, in fact, like the like a lot of like there's a character from pretty much every one of his books in it. It's it's one of his books. He wrote the Dark Tower. Yeah, he wrote. Yeah, yeah. yeah he wrote the entire. Yeah, it started the first. The first one was in 1984 or something like that. Like a couple years before he, uh, a couple years before he wrote uh, the Tommy Knockers, and that's like uh, it's one of my favorite. Yeah, one, one's of his books, but anyway, yeah, that's that's gonna be some good stuff, I think. Um, yeah, I wasn't real sold on the idea of Peter Selva at first. Oh, I don't know. I'm just not a big fan of his. I really like him as an actor. Yeah, yeah, man. I mean, I like the movies he's in. It's just you don't think he does a good job, or what? I have. To, I was just a little skeptical. Just a little skeptical. I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh, because like, it doesn't fit. You think he's not a right fit for the character, or what? Uh, that's what I thought at first, but uh, I think you can pull. Uh, now that I've like, re- like re- the idea, like the idea of it is growing on me. It's. It's a. I definitely can. It's I find it a lot more plausible now. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's understandable. It, like. Lots of times that'll happen where it is a really great actor, but they just might not be the right fit for the role. Yeah. Um, I mean, he as long as because I don't know anything about the character or the role or anything. Yeah. Right? He's, I don't know. It's like a Clint Eastwood type almost. Hmm. I don't know. That's, that's the best way I can. Because like, you like said that you initially thought that they should be reversed. The role, yeah. Like the yeah. Actors. Absolutely. But yeah, maybe yeah. they're just trying to go outside of their normal reign and like. That's true. That could be true. Yeah. But I mean, Idris Elba, I think, can play pretty much anything. He's the villain in the new Star Trek movie. And you yeah, he is. Him at yeah. All. Like, that he is. But uh, for I'm myself, I'm skeptical. I'm skeptical about that one too. <laughs> oh really? New yeah. Star Trek movie? Well, yeah. I, I, yeah. I, it's I like, mean, it might. I I didn't like the last one that much, but. Uh, I didn't either. Uh, for myself, for reading, watching, playing, I have been playing the shit out of some Pokemon. <laughs> Got yeah. a 3DS. Out of it and, uh, but uh, I have. What was it that I just watched? I don't remember. I thought there was something that I just watched. Well, Deadpool just came out. I watched that. Nice. Uh, Star Wars Day is tomorrow, so yeah. I, mean, I probably won't be able to watch the movies tomorrow because, you know, I work. Mm-hmm. And then I, it'll take like fucking ten hours to watch the movies. That's a pretty dope ride. I don't know what the hell that was. But, <laughs> a a tricycle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyways, yeah, I'm probably gonna watch them this weekend or something. But I'm not. I don't watch them all. I watch like yeah, four, five, three, six, seven. 
Uh, but anyways, yeah. yeah, that's pretty much it for me that I've been reading, watching, or playing. Nice. Uh, yeah, so is there any, do you have any where that the good, good folks at home can find you? By the way, thanks for yeah, being no on problem. the show. Not a problem. Uh, they can find me at, at Green or Nowhere on Facebook, Twitter, uh, Twitter Instagram. Uh, not Instagram. Not Instagram. Uh, I shouldn't make one, but YouTube, SoundCloud. That's, yeah. That's where you can find me. Cool. And for me, you can find me on all the social meds, uh, like Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, just at Winter Trooper. And uh, for the show, like you can get a hold of the show here if you want to like email us, just what we talking about today at gmail.com. If you want to uh, tweet at us, at what we talking we also have instagram at what we talking and uh yeah that's pretty much it that i can think of thanks for joining us thanks for watching the show and if you guys have any topics that you would want to suggest or for us or if you have any thoughts on any of the topics that we discussed today really love to know your thoughts so either Let's comment know. or tweet at us or whatever but thanks for watching and until next time never stop <laughs>